Sprout. And it's just Brokey tucked into the vent behind the smoke. Yeah, Brokey. <laughs> He's wondering what's going on inside of the smoke. He's going to find no, one. No. Finds a second. Absolutely not. He's already done this so many times. And now he's looking for an ace clutch instead. It should be impossible. But we've said that many, many times already. Goes straight for the bomb plot. They open the door in front. Oh, going to be careful. He gets one more. Surely not. On the other side, Glaive is ready and waiting. Brokey. <laughs> he's toying with him. Oh. And oh. Oh my god, Rookie! You must be kidding me! Rain even knocks his monitor over. How? Hey guys, make sure to check out CSGO.net. Use code SCOOBBY40 for a 40% deposit bonus. I unboxed Beach Case and got AWP Containment Breach. It was over $17 profit. I decided to upgrade this AWP for AWP and Neo Noir. Luckily for me, the upgrade was successful, making another $9 profit. Go to CSGO.net and get dream skins from many different cases. CSGO.net. Click the link in the description and win. Within this bomb site, and Nico, he's got tabs in point blank. Searson's going to give good cover. These are the stars of Big looking to align for their fifth round win. Nico emerging what? and a no scope straight into the chest of Tapson. Bomb dropped on site. He hits Searson with the nade. And if Nico can finish this clutch. Oh, that's so close to the mark, but it's just not on the money. And Searson dropped, spotted by Nico. Seven seconds as he's looking to use this clock. Nico! No! Just a couple no scopes for G2's round win. Yeah, right. He IGLs and ops. Still times it nicely. Done. Dupree gets two players off of this. Eight seconds left. Point blank. On fight. Oh, Monacy. We're on. Yes, we are. A little bit of clutch sprinkled in for an attempt at G2's first round win. No! Apex tries to jump across. Lethal mistake. You do not survive a clash versus the kid. And now Monacy gets into the pit. It's him versus Spinks. A kit on the CT side, but a white oh. spot on Monacy. Like thunder. Nico, going to chop down a couple players, push this one onto Searson. He's hunting the clutch in the 1v3, and he sees the easy Ooh. headshot. That's Hunter demolished, but JKS and Nico still very much alive. Between the two of them, no utility. Second frag for Searson oh. and the third. Oh. Oh. Let's go. Little bit of clutch goes Big's way. Yeah. Hell yeah. Live as well. So two CTs still within this. Flashbangs stun big momentarily. And they don't round that penultimate corner. Not until Monacy's ready on the angle. Here comes Fabian. Wide swing. Gets both with the Galil. And dies through the smoke to Hunter. So Searson, how about the back to back? First shot to JKS. Hunter over yes, sir. And Searson oh, yeah. swallows him. Damn, that's in about 30 seconds. We got two series and clutches back to back to bing, big, bring big back into this game. And Blame F coming from the other side of the map. I don't think Brokey's going to see what's coming. There's the peak. Oh, he adjusts. Somehow he does find it. Over to the B-bomb. So we go. Utility spent. Farlick's going to hear that. But these footsteps, I believe Config could hear all yeah. of these. So, yeah, there's, there's no trickery. There's no sneaking around anymore. 17 seconds. Going to run straight for it. It will be a miracle if he can even live through the first fight here. 10 seconds on the clock, just running out with that AWP. No! Oh my god! He still gets it! It's impossible! And now it's a one versus one. Config has got to be sweating bullets right now. He comes in for it. Yes, the shot! An absolutely out of this world clutch from Brokey. And look at him. He's actually going all the way through underpass. So Majiska's is going to draw some attention. And it could come down to the overextension from Electronic. It's going to be very hard to read that he's this far back, but he's starting to come up now. Oh, and it goes down. Electronic trades him out. And now 1v1, Magisk low. But the bomb, he needs it. Ooh, and Electronic, a little shoulder dance. 15 health there makes the difference between Electronic and Magisk. So if he puts the bomb down right about now, oh, he's coming back to look. He's going to get found out. 14 seconds. There's the smoke, but this Molotov, they can't extinguish it. So they're going to be on top of him, and he's going to have to hold on it for a long time. But theoretically, he could do some real damage. with. He's going to throw it right away instead. Maybe a little bit too soon there. They still have plenty of time on the other side. Although the kit, I think, is all the way out on the B hallway. So not even anywhere close to the moment. So they may need to push a little bit quicker than they want here. And he's just hiding close. They have a Molotov on their own on whole circuit. It's going to be the AWP up first. And Floppy trying to take it over. But what a win. Fiku with a one versus two clutch. You can see how much that matters to him. Yeah. Dupree has the flash. 
Zaiwu's got the firepower. But Zaiwu also not much health. Dupree's got the kill. The trade frags there. Nico looking for his 22nd kill in 16 rounds, and he may not even need it. The time decides. It's 12 for G2 and an easy T half, perhaps. Played well, perfectly. Crosshand, that was a nice play. Good read. Two versus three. They're pretty close to it here. Flanking through Jonah as well at the same time. Falik with a second kill. He might have brought his team back into this one. They're low on health, but still, Twist has no real estate to stand on. He's out in the open, feeling very lonesome, but fighting to the death, taking down Sip and blame of his solo on health. He might have done a triple kill on Twist right here and hiding behind the box. Oh, he's so good. He's already seen him. And this is why we call him the magician, the magnificent Van Dolken, sneaking out and getting the quad kill, clutching it for phase. There's no way. All right, here's the flank. That's it. That's what you needed. Twist on his own. One versus three. And he's already got two headshots to bring it into a one-on-one. -on -one. He's <laughs> looking for it. Falik is closing the door. Hiding. Oh, no. It's going to be a bomb part at the minimum. And he's got all the health in the world fighting against Twist. But he gets caught. Nearly already taken down. He's got that pistol out now. Oh, no. It's another clutch. Twist with the quad. And he steals it back. That is so ridiculous. Nectar. It's going to preoccupy a bit for sure. If SDY can catch Apex here, ooh, now he can set his eyes back on the bomb site. Bit calling the audio. They know they're out from Khan. Electronic cuts off Dupree first to push back through smoke. And from inside sight, Zywu with two. Oh, Magisk activates from window. Simple off the ticket. Down goes Zywu. And the stairs player two. Oh, man. He never had a break, dude. This guy is so crazy. That round went so well for Vitality up until that last moment. So if they get close enough, he might not have enough uh, speed here to pick up more kills. He's already done a great job, even at close range, but this is asking a lot. He sees one of them, hasn't unscoped yet, so they don't even know that he's there. Oh, no. Oh, missed the shot. Pistol's out instead. He spins around and hunts down Brolin. What an amazing map this has been for Farlake so far. Now Rez, 40 seconds in a one versus three, and he's going to spin around and get that kill on Sip. Glaive is coming in, he's already low on health and red! Here's the headshot to clutch it and take down Astralis! And he knows it as well, he's thinking about it, just waiting for the bomb plant, there it goes right on top! And they don't even get the bomb plant, it actually blows him up before he put in the last digit, that's amazing! One versus one now, in 30 seconds, and Dupree's already playing under the mind game here. Looking on top of the smoke, hoping for a quick peek from flames, he's not getting it though. And this time the bomb will finally be planted. Dupree sneaking around. This would be a huge one versus two. Take all the momentum away from OG if they can win this one. And he's got a great angle for it. I don't think Flames maybe realizes yet if he could have picked up another grenade in the process here, but there's not that many places that Flames could have gone. Dupree surely knows. He hasn't heard him fall down. He knows exactly. Oh, he's managed to figure it out. This is amazing. A one versus two. And what a clutch for Dupree to get himself into the game. Bench. For the previous round, Rain gonna try and pick up the pieces. He's got the first of three. Transitioning over towards the A-bomb site. Molotov holds him at bay. Doesn't want to go for the long rotation through Temple. He does have a kit. Yes, he does. And they're both in Donut. It's very hard to take this fight, although he really almost wins it against Farlig. That would have been huge if he could have turned it into a one-on-one. -on -one. Up on the box, and Farlig, a little bit too open, goes straight for the bomb defuse here. Not faking oh, no. it. Sip doesn't realize, and he's going to get the defuse right in front of him. Oh, heartbreaking again. You could see he felt like that was the only defender there, so he just kept the pedal down. Rops is going to be traded away, and now Brokey's in the right position, though. Oh, he's in a perfect position. Yeah, it's gonna see 35 seconds. They haven't checked it. He gets one of them but already out. It's Fiku, and he'll get sprayed down. Great work from Brokey. Moving into an absolutely beautiful position at the end of the round. You will never, have ever, ever expect Brokey to be in that position at the end of this round. The way that it all played out, the way that he was spot on the other side of the map. What a great reposition for Brokey with the AK-47. Absolutely brutal. He's gonna be found as well. So three on three into a one versus three. Robs. Obviously with the skill to do that, but failed the jump, which makes his job just a little bit more complicated. Has to go and challenge the AWB again. <laughs> I mean, if he was looking, he could have been dead right there. Sound has no idea. No, he doesn't. Oh, no. This could turn into a one-on-one -on -one right quick. They really don't know. He's gone to check now, so maybe now he's realized and put it together. Okay, summing is up. There's not that many positions he could have been in, so I think they realize now. But, oh, ooh, still finding the headshot on Stout. That's ridiculous. And now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. 
what a sexy 1v1 he's gotten himself into. He hasn't taken a point of damage at all. KD had been in a lot of trouble. No kit right now, no smoke, and an AWP. He has to eventually go and tap the bomb and try to get Robs to peek him, but he's in so much trouble. Robs has played this perfectly. He's absolutely mind game. KD has got no idea, and now he has to run. Robs gets the spray down. And but he doesn't change guns. MP9 still good for further damage. Frag. Oh, oh, they throw him back and forth. And Nico comes out on top, but there's the trade frag at the very least. So a 21 and 7 Monacy will be able to grab that bomb and try to close this clutch. Yes. Somebody calls it the fake plant. He can now get closer. Monacy is just trying to figure this out. It's not going to be possible for him to know for sure, of course, if Perfecto left or if he's coming in slowly. But it looks like he's waited enough time that Perfecto is second guessing this. I can't believe that. After hearing the bomb get fake planted, Perfecto tried to immediately run over to the other side. Now he's got a way harder clutch to win. Oh, that's tough. Damn. But uh, Monacy's not going up into Palace. He's nope. Gonna, he's going to play for the fight. Putting himself into a position to potentially die. Perfecto making a ton of sound, though. So, oh! What? He doesn't win the duel. What? Yeah. Exactly. No, that's true. Yep. Okay.